Here I have a simple line drawing game that looks quite satisfying, but there is something off about the bouncing balls themselves. With a few simple tweaks, we'll be able to add a trail effect and make them much more appealing and dynamic. I will now open the ball prefab and add a component called Trail Renderer. Now whenever the ball is moved around the screen, it will automatically leave this pink trail. Let's tweak a few values. I will change the line width. To adjust it, simply click and drag the width text to the left. Then let's adjust the time it takes to discard the line. A quarter of a second looks suitable to me. To achieve the same effect as in the Fruit Ninja game, we can change the width curve of our line by creating a new point and bringing it down towards the end. That way we get that nice change of width at the end. To change this pink color, we need to select a material. I suggest to go with the default line, which is built into Unity and leaves out a simple white line. Finally, change the order in layer so that the trail will be behind our main sprite. All of those changes already look great in our game, but if you want more, here are some additional tips. We can adjust the gradient of our line so that it has a variable color and transparency along its length. For example, you can make the line gradually fade away at the end. If you feel that line is too choppy for your fast-paced game, you can reduce mean vertex distance for a smoother experience. Finally, if you want to make rounded corners for the end of the line or for the corners, use those two values to tweak them. Corner vertices tend to be quite choppy, so don't overdo them. If you tested the trails the same way as I did, don't remember to change the position of the prefab to initial values. That's it, we can add this effect to many objects in our game, making it look much more polished. How about a mouse? Can we make a trail effect for that? Sure. Create a new game object on the scene called Mouse Trail, reset its position, and add a trail renderer. Just as before, tweak some of its settings, and then add a new script called mouse follow. There, inside of an update, type vector free mouse position equals camera.main.screen toward point and pass in input that mouse position. That way, we get the current mouse position in our world. There is a huge chance that this position has an invalid Z coordinate, so in my case, I will also type mouse position that Z equals zero. Then, finally, we can change the position of the game object itself by typing transform that position equals mouse position. Save and launch the game. You can already see an effect. If you want to make trail visible only when the mouse button is pressed, type at the top public trail renderer trail and then in the update trail that enabled equals input that get mouse position zero which is a left mouse button in ut inspector simply assign this field with the trail renderer component and run the game now the trail is visible only when i press the mouse button if you want to learn more about unity check out my other videos shown on the screen Special thanks to all of my patrons supporting CoCode. See you soon.